Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video, and I'm sorry if the camera is at a weird angle. This is the best I can get it. Um, so, I will flip, well, okay, so let me start off with today's video. So, today's video, kind of like a low-key sketch with me type video. Will I title the video of Sketch With Me? Probably not. I'm probably going to title this Figure Study or Figure Practice um, in my sketchbook and something like that. And uh, guys, I've been practicing. Um, you know, it's to the point where I'm actually having a lot of fun with my practice and I'm getting that gesture down and I'm practicing the legs and practicing the muscles of the legs. I'm practicing arms, how they bend, how the legs bend, um, and I've just been, it's been a blast, and I love learning, so she looks great for that, um, do, like, it's not sponsored by any means, um, so I'm, like, really excited what I've been learning, and been putting it into practice, and I will show you that practice, but I don't think YouTube will allow, um, I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, let's keep it PG-13 here. So, um, with that being said, I've been practicing. Um, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. Maybe that would help. No. Okay, we're, we're just going to have to make do, guys. Um, sorry about that. I think it's how I usually film anyway. So, um these are the practices they can see how the legs are bending how the curves and i'm just having a lot of fun with the gesture i know the hands need a little bit of work but i'm getting that um just draw idea down um uh, i want to keep the video pg-13 or rated g at least um uh, so i put clothes on them um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i want to preference by saying I'm finally learning how to have the head in proportion with the figure. So, because if you can, this is my love about sketchbooks. Um, you can see here, remember that video I did, my art style is changing or something like that? And um, I show you the figure right here. The head is way too big. Um, you know, before I studied study figure drawing and everything that goes into it, the actual uh, head of the figure is actually smaller um, because it's more focused on the body and, you know, I love learning and that's why I've been love learning so much. Like, um, I'm learning to draw bigger a little bit as well. So the whole gesture fills up the whole page and I've always wanted that. So, um, and I'm learning to use my wrist, like kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, to get the fluid lines that I've always wanted, um, instead of those hairy lines, um, I've learned shading as well, shading the torso area, like, before I started hit the record button, I did a 20, a good 20 minute, uh, torso practice, uh, on big paper, I was able to get, get the torso, torso really big. Um, so I'm so, so excited about that, but I will show you again, but again, I gotta keep this at least PG-13 for you guys, um, uh, for the younger folks out there, but, um, anyways, I'm really proud of how I'm taking the time to learn it, instead of just guessing at it and having a noodle arm all the time. Now, let me say this, is my anatomy perfect? No, way no. I still have to learn everything. I'm still in the learning process. And with art, you can always learn and you can always learn new things. Um, while I was doing this video uh, a while back, um, this is kind of like a, one of the repeat videos a little bit. Um, I really wanted to focus on the figures and try to get them to dance. And that was before I was taking Skillshare classes. Um, so I've been taking Skillshare classes for a while now, but before I studied the figure and everything, so this is definitely an improvement, I think, um, because the head's in proportion, I've already said that, but, um, I'm really excited because the head's at an angle, and, 
I'm just really excited. So I'm going to color these in watercolor. And I did want to mention Mermaid. I've been, uh huh, ignoring that little gesture there. But I will try to make a spread, get the spread of this. But I'm going to be also doing Mermaid in uh, today's video as well. You guys need to like yesterday's video. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with watercolor painting. Here are my watercolors before you guys ask. Um, I don't know what these modern colors are, but, um, they start with a D, um, but I can't remember the name. Uh, so, this, these are my watercolor sets. I think they come in 24, and I'm really, I've been using them ever since I got them. So, I'm gonna be taking this with me to the beach. Um, so, further ado, long intro to what we're doing today. We're just sit back, paint with me, whatever. Um, we're gonna be painting these figures. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I will be enjoying painting these. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's been a while since we sat down at my desk and actually drew something with you guys. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that today. So, I'm really excited for today's video. I want to stop talking really now and let you guys paint along with me. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to this part of the video where we always do a voiceover for the speed drive part or something. Um, I want to share some tips with you for improvement, how you can improve your drawings and how to level up, up, uh, level up your art. Um, so some tips you really want to focus on is anatomy. Um, I've been focusing this weekend on gestures and how to improve my gestures and how to improve my leg anatomy, how to improve my head anatomy, and, um, just all around, uh, practicing, so I really wanted to, uh, process on that a bit this weekend, and I think I am improving immensely. I wouldn't say a ton, but I want to share a little sneak peek. Uh, for you guys uh, from the beginning of the month. Remember how I did my art style changing video? Uh, yeah, so I was trying to draw a figure and I got the head too big. Uh, I did a little bit of editing like you see here. Uh, that was the before improvement. So I wanted to show you guys uh, the difference between getting the head proportion right and getting it not too big, you still see details and everything. So I'm really excited about running that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little editing there. Um, so the first tip is to practice anatomy. The second tip is uh, revisiting your old art. And I know that is a, um, not really a setback, but what I mean by revisiting is redrawing. But I would say redraw something simple so that way you don't beat yourself up in case it is a good piece and you just want to leave it alone or something. So I just want to recommend that. Um, because before I was doing my art challenge for the ink drawings, I mean, yeah, they were good. I really wanted to redraw day one, but day one was so good that I just wanted to leave it alone. I didn't want to make any subtle improvements, like I was putting too much pressure on myself. Uh, for that so I just want to clarify that you know draw as you're going to redraw do something simple that you know that you get improvement from but like, I can go back and improve on the figure drawing that you see in the beginning of the video if you want to see a video of me doing that let me know and I can always do a video on that um something I'm going to be start doing is I'm going to be starting redrawing things in my sketchbook um I think that's something that would really show improvement uh, because sketchbooks, if you draw in order, then you'll see your progress. But if you draw out of order, sometimes I do that. And then sometimes I draw in order, but you get to see your progress. And that's why I love sketchbooks um, with that. So is my anatomy perfect? Uh, no, <laughs> that's the big uh, flat no, but I am learning. so. That's the beauty of art. You can always learn. You can always grow in your art and learn new things. Um, I'm learning all this on Skillshare. And Skillshare is not sponsoring this video. Um, but I'm saying that because I am paying the membership for it. And uh, yeah. So I've been learning a lot. And it's been really fun. And getting the details of everything. And just I've been learning hyper-realism a little bit. And... 
uh, theming Switch Styles every now and then, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun. So this is uh, the Dancing Poses, and we'll go on to Mermaid in a little bit. And Mermaid Day 16, I believe, is Blowfish or Puffyfish, however you want to call it. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one, and another thing is, I've also been learning how to do composition. So that's been a lot of fun, and um, been learning how to position my characters in such a way that uh, they're facing one another on a page, and having a lot of fun with composition that way. Um, I now like I'm getting familiar with it. I'm not saying like a I'm an expert at it, but I am getting a small hint of it. So. Um, this one I'm really happy with how it, she turned out. Um, what I really, my goal in processing just the drawing, I really want to move to a canvas and do like a figure piece, like a watercolor figure piece on it. That's why I'm processing my sketchbook with watercolor, see how I will implement that on a canvas. Um, so I'm really excited where I'm taking my art and, you know, sometimes on Sundays, I'm recording this on Sundays, I'm filming this on Sunday. Well, I filmed this on Saturday and I'm recording and editing on Sunday, but I'm like, sometimes I get art block and I tend to like, don't know what to draw. Uh, I was talking to my friend today, it was really inspiring and feel really motivated to do art today. So that's a good thing um, with that. With that being said, inspiration could come from anywhere, whatever you want to draw. Um, a couple of videos ago, I did an observation uh, video, and uh, I've been trying to have a mini challenge of drawing objects from my every everyday life. Um, so I've been doing that, and it's been really fun. Like, I did a full thread. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video so much. Have fun in creating it. Um, sorry if I did post on Sunday. Uh, it might be a Monday video, depending when I get this up, but I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend, um, nonetheless, and I hope you guys are excited for this video, but, uh, I'm having fun watching back and seeing how the process goes as I'm talking to you guys, recording the voiceover, but that's not important to you. Um... I'm trying to think what else I could talk about. I think I'm just going to put music on the rest of this for now until we get to the mermaid. Uh, day 16. guys and welcome to day 16 of Mermaid. Um, what I realized when I'm doing these videos for you guys, I always include a mermaid or a mermaid or something like that, particular to mermaid. I'm still doing it, surprisingly. I've been really getting into it and it's always fun learning how to draw different fish and to implement the fish characteristic traits into my mermaid. Um, so I'm really excited how I'm learning about different fish, and, uh, yeah, so that's how my mermaid's going. Uh, right now I'm drawing the puffer fish, and I know, guys, uh, you don't have to correct me. I just want to have them be friends. Uh, <laughs> the reason I say that, you know, puffer fish, when they get scared, they're, like, puffers or something. I don't know if I've heard, but I could be wrong, but, um. With the mermaid, I decided to play uh, with the hip waist shape since my anatomy is coming to play here and then want to exaggerate the hips a little bit and um, with the puffer fish, so that was a lot of fun. And then I added the spikes to it, so that was fun too. I don't know if they're called spikes or whatever um, you want to put, but that was a lot of fun. Um, this mermaid uh, was interesting and 
Uh, my next mermaid I'm really excited for because I'm learning to draw both sides of the hair. So um, you can see there on the figure that I accidentally did it there, but uh, I'm still learning. So um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn your notification bell on so you won't miss a video. And I hope you guys have a marvelous day and, uh, you know, relax, chill, draw with me, and whatever. So, I will put music on the rest of this. And I hope you guys enjoy the process as I enjoy making it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.